When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. Hey. Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco Di Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore it.
Come and see what my little gallery has got. What happened here? Signor Lorenzo! Lorenzo's currently indisposed. Hey, you're the one who killed Francesco de Pazzi. Get him. With pleasure. Don't you yeah. there on him! What glory is mine? Dispatcher of the great le assassin. Armi servono a oh, no. You'll regret that. I hate these awkward moments. Should you come to it? There he is! On him!
I know I heard a noise down there. It's time to earn your Florence. I want half of you to search the courtyard, the other half come with me to check the chapel. See, si, Capitano. Then we check the secret passageways. What about Lorenzo? By now, Lorenzo is already dead. Lorenzo! Porca vaca! Someone, find a way to get inside there! You heard him? You two, get the ladder! What are we doing with the ladder? Lorenzo isn't coming out. What's taking them so long? If you both weren't so loud, you wouldn't have heard us coming. Merda, you were the loud one. All of you, mind your own business and keep watch.
It opened. Did you hear that? It came from the bedroom. Whoever opened it must be in there. There's an intruder in the bedroom. Go, kill him. Uh, si, Capitano. You will suffer for that! Get back! Lower your sword! It's me! Ezio. Again you save me. First they enter my church, now my home. I'll hunt them down. They won't come near you again. Look around you. This is one of my treasure rooms. You're entitled to take anything you wish from it, in thanks for what you've done. I trust my apartments are safe now. Yes, Signore. Thank you for this most gracious gift. I must go. But I will come to you again, when all the Pazzi are dead. I will not forget what you've done for me. Buona fortuna. Must have you cut us out when moving like that. Shadow of oh, the is out of mind, whatever. Oh, now the paper is really fresh a while longer, it seems. He gaps the guard. And we pride ourselves on delivering good quality.
last last month the Visconti bought 300 of my finest Ezio, thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design for delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. I didn't think so. Buongiorno. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list?
Buon viaggio! Ezio! <laughs> come in, come in! To what do we owe the honor? Been sent from Firenze by Il Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who isn't? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scouts to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. Got something else for you as well. More codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. All right, Ezio. You're familiar with counterattacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro. Teach me what to do. Now dodge! Feel your Detroit! Enjoying the ride down to hell! Bene, bene! Now do it again! Much better! One last time now! Bravo! Yet another time. Poor little face, dying just to follow orders. <laughs> One more time, Ezio. Magnifico! Once again, you exceed my expectations. Signore, we found Jacopo's men. And they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you.
There you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend. Another thing coming, but please, by all means, continue to delude yourself if it helps to pass the time. You speak blasphemy. No, I speak truth. But to deny its most exalted existence is the only rational response when faced with the declaration that there exists some invisible madman in the sky. And believe me, if your precious Bible is anything to go by, he is completely lost his mind. How can you speak as such? You wear his vestments. Only because they afforded me the opportunity to get close to the Medici. But you're right. And so I you die! To replace it. Goods will be done! Oh, dealt with. Oh, you oh, my God. Oh. Hold on, if you listen to me. Oh. I am the law. Oh. Haven't I seen him before? Right here, Fratello. If you think the Lord has any interest in our affairs, you another thing. Come. Get out of here before I call the guards! You speak blasphemy. Ah, it's time I returned to work. No, I speak truth. But to deny his most exalted existence is the only rational response when faced with the declaration that there exists some invisible madman in the sky. And, believe me, if your precious Bible is anything to go by, he has completely lost his mind. How can you speak as such? You wear his vestments. Only... Why are you here? What do you... <laughs> Now I will see who was right. Where is Jacopo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora se libero dalla paura, requiescat in pace. We found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. 
<sighs> Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like it. Yourselves. The assassin has arrived! I need to find a way to open the gates. I warned you to stay away, assassin! You should have... You're finished, assassin! Do you hear me? Finish! You Templars! Always singing the <laughs> same song! Do you think <laughs> you mercenary will scare me? Ah! They should. Shall I send your remains to that Ubria co- It's quite a plan you have. Spouting nonsense while you send these other men to die. Where is Jacopo? He knows you come for him. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. That answers when. Now tell me where. Fede dovrebbe dare conforto. Non pena. Requiescat in pace. Come, 
another time. It's getting easier and easier to hack into Abstergo's mainframe. It's like I know what data I'm looking for. I've already lived it. <laughs> 